Um, hi everybody, uh, my name is Paul, I'm from Florida, and this is my nose job rhinoplasty experience. It's day zero, my surgery is tomorrow, so that'll be day one. Um, and I'm gonna update you guys with how I look tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be on my nice camera, I might be on my um, cell phone, because who wants to bring up a camera and put up the tripod every single day? I probably won't, but I obviously have not had the surgery yet, so I'm gonna give you guys basically a view of how my face looks before the surgery. Try to get up close. You know, I don't know. I would consider myself to be, I guess, somewhat good looking, I don't know. But, um, I guess that's subjective either way. So I would say I'm pretty confident, but at the same time, I also feel like I would look better if my nose was a certain way. You know, I'm not, like, it doesn't really, I don't lose too much sleep over it, let me just say that. But what I will say is that I have been dealing with an insecurity with my nose since I was probably like 10 years old. And I just feel like, I don't know, like, what is the point of living life and you can change something. Don't stress about something and you're not going to change it. Like, if you can change it, then change it. If you can't change it, then you can't stress about it. But thanks guys for watching. Um, it's going to be an interesting ride. This is the before again. Just wanted to say it one more time because I feel like I'm kind of going to be sad. It's like my last few days or my last few hours of my natural nose um, as I was born. Um, and I just feel like, I don't know, I'm going to miss it, but I'm not going to miss it that much, obviously, if I'm paying um, $7,000. Um, but it is a little bit sad and a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, and yeah, so... Thanks for watching and hopefully um, you guys stick around. Okay, peace out. The doctor gave me some nice socks and um, stockings. <laughs> this looks so funny on camera. But um, yeah, I'm in my room now, waiting for the anesthesiologist to come. Anesthesiologist to come. And. Um, yeah. It's gonna be very quick, I believe. They're gonna do an IV just to sedate me a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm having a little bit of difficulty falling asleep. It is one o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm honestly contemplating if I should just stay up or get like two hours of sleep or something. Um, because I'm gonna go tomorrow anyways to get my cleaning. But yeah, like, I don't know. I'm like really like, I don't know. I feel like my pain right now is a two. Actually, I would say a three or four it's just like day one and there's like so much happening um but yeah that's kind of what's going on right now i'm having a little difficulty falling asleep because of you know having to get up to change my gauge um i hope i said that right um or having to get up to you know clean something clean my uh stitches or clean put antibacterial cream like you know, I'm still wearing my clothes um, because, you know, I don't really know, like, I feel like so weird right now. I can't even take a shower. I know I need to um, change my clothes because, like, this is a whole sweater and I'm getting hot. But, like, I just feel so unmotivated because, like, I feel like that regardless, like, I'm not going to fall asleep. Um, but, yeah. Hey guys, it's day two. Yesterday was day one. I am at my doctor's office for my cleaning. Um, there's a little discoloration and a little swelling. I think it's because of the nostril. Um, and yeah, I'm, my friend came with me. And I am gonna, I'm excited to get this cleaned up because it's really bloody and yeah. Uh, but the bleeding has stopped, um, or well, was stopped, but it seems like it's starting again, so maybe, um, 
yeah, I'll give you guys another update. Alright, thanks guys. Or if I post it, I don't know. Th <laughs> thanks, me. Okay, so it's day two. And I feel like that's so raven. Oh my god. When freaking she ate the fucking... Um, I don't know what the fuck she ate. But that's literally how I feel. And I'm just like... I don't know, like... I... Like, the food that made her fat. I just... I'm, I'm not feeling it. Like, I can't even go outside. It's... It's not cute. And then this tape now, this blood is so dry over here. I just want to, like, I don't know, like, how much worse it could get. Like, honestly. Because I'm, like, my face is swollen as fuck. If it gets any fatter, the fucking face is going to blow up. It's the craziest thing. Like, it's, like, I feel it getting tighter. Like, the skin around it is moving. I need to just, like, calm down. Stop talking. I think I'm like getting my heart rate elevated and I need to like slow it down. So that's what I'm like gonna try to do because um, that's maybe what happened. Also, I had a chicken McGriddle. So it's day two. I just changed um, the gosh. Um, I hope that made sense, but I made sense to me. So. But honestly, like, yeah, I don't know. It looks kind of like weird right now. My face is kind of tight. And because it looks kind of big, it, looks, it makes my nose look a little like tiny. But it's day three. Um, I just took my antibiotic and my extra strength Tylenol. Um, so I'm no longer using the prescription painkiller that they gave me. Yesterday, I just wanted to say like, I was on so 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 many drugs like i feel like when i was falling asleep i was having the most intense visuals like the things that i was seeing it wasn't making sense like it's almost crazy to me um my face is really swollen now but i'm really just trying to get some rest drink some water and um i have my glove and the freezer are ready to get um, frozen so i can put it on my face um and yeah, this looks like how I'm going to be looking today. I'm, you know, kind of getting used to it. But um, yeah, it is really swollen um, internally and externally. Inside of my nose, it's kind of swollen. So it's kind of hard to breathe through there. Because I don't really have any stints. Um, so, you know, I'm supposed to be breathing, you know, through my nose. But um, I usually just breathe through my mouth because it's a little swollen inside of the nose. Um, and as you can clearly see around my eyes and my face, that um, it is very swollen. <clears throat> it's day three, and my face is incredibly swollen. Like, my eyes are very swollen, and it's black. Um, I can barely talk. I look like a Whoville from Dr. Seuss. And I can't even take a shower, and I just, like, I feel so gross. Hopefully, as this day progresses, the swelling goes down. I'm going to really try to go at this ice and try to ice down my face so that the swelling can come down. But, um, yeah. Hopefully, it freaking, this is, like, the last day of looking like this, um, or at least coming down. I honestly, like, I don't feel that terrible. It's just, like, I'm really fucking swollen. Like, my face is so swollen right now that it is so, like, I can't really go outside. Like, I keep having to put Vaseline on my mouth because my lips keep getting super dry. Um, and, yeah, today was, like, the first day I was able to fall asleep. Um, well, yesterday was the first day I was able to fall asleep. Um, so, today I woke up. It's 8 o'clock right now. And I went to sleep last night, yesterday around like 5 or 6 o'clock uh, at night or in the evening. I definitely slept for a long time for like, I needed some rest. Um, however, right now, like, I look like I just took a serious beating. Like a serious beating. It's day three.
So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to stick through this and uh, journey through it and uh, just really keep it going. Hey guys, um, it's day four. Face is still swollen. About to ice it um, right now. But yeah, this is day four. <laughs> Um, it's Thanksgiving. My parents, my mom got here today. She saw my nose, uh, but it's whatever. She's about to bring me some food for Thanksgiving because, you know, I'm not going to be able to go out today. But, um, yeah, my face is still very fat, and yeah. <coughs> um, okay. So it's day seven. Sunday. Um, I got my cast off tomorrow. Um, there's not much of a change, I would say, from yesterday. Um, currently icing my face down with a glove. Um, and yeah, that's currently what's going on with me. Just wanted to give you guys a little update. I really don't like how my face looks right now. It just looks so big and swollen. I kind of want to go back to how my face used to look but I'm trying to remind myself that you know this is not the finished look um and you know my face will go down the swelling um and just everything will look right at some point um but just today is not the day or this week probably not next week either I'm realizing um <clears throat> okay, so today I'm getting the cast off. It's uh, day eight of uh, the rhinoplasty. Um, my nose is swollen, my face is swollen. And um, with my friend, she came, supported me. Um, yeah, so they're about to take the stitches out and take off the cast. This is like the reveal. So, let's see if the money was worth it. <laughs> okay, alright. I got, I got the cast removed today. Um, I'm about to go get some food with my friend. Uh, but in the meantime, I just wanted to show you guys uh how it looks kind of after um i feel like it's gonna swell up i'm just gonna try to go to work and like hopefully nobody will talk to me <laughs> i don't know but i have i also have class today uh so I, it's like i missed a class last week and i decided to go to this week's class um it is day what is it day eight since my surgery my face is pretty swollen, my nose is pretty swollen. I got my cast off today, so my nose and everything is like coming together. Um, honestly, I really like it. It kind of looks like my old nose. Um, it looks really weird seeing it on my face. Um, especially from the side, because I know I like, the side, the profile is really good. Um, and I actually put a little concealer underneath my eyes on top of my bruises today um, so I could look a little presentable for class um, but honestly I literally got here and class is canceled today it just checked out mine it is uh, now two weeks out today's Monday um, sorry I'm just like looking at my nose because I put some um, some sort of like cream on it to keep it moisturized but anyways today's date is two weeks out uh, from my surgery, officially two weeks out, I have an appointment on Wednesday. I'm in my dad's house right now, so the background is different. But um, yeah, so this is how it's looking two weeks out. 
My bruising has pretty much gone away for the most part. I still am applying Arnica every day though because um, I just want, you know, any additional swelling and bruising and like discoloration to come go away. So I've been applying Arnica every day. Um, I have an appointment on Wednesday where they're going to address any additional swelling. Um, but yeah, this is how I'm looking two weeks out. I'm about to go to work, so I'm back to my normal schedule. As far as maintenance, what I usually do is bring that saline spray and spray my nose just to keep it moisturized every day. And then I use my Q-tip also to clean out the area every day with peroxide. Um, I'm not really taking any pills, like any painkillers or any antibiotics. Uh, I just apply. They gave me some um, some sort of cream that keeps the nostrils on the outside and the inside moisturized. So I usually apply that like once a day, just so that um, it gets. I don't want like it to be all dry and cracky. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that I do for maintenance. Okay, last day of 2019. Here's a little video vlog of my nose. I think I'm gonna get my hair cut tomorrow because, you know, new year, new me. Um, you can probably see maybe, you can probably see it when you um, are looking at the video in entirety, you know, the differences in my nose, but obviously I can't really see anything because um, everything I'm seeing is like every day. So I don't really notice the difference, but this is the side from this way. This way, um, here's the front view. There's still a lot of swelling in my nose tip. Um, one thing I'm gonna have to be continuing to do is like moisturizing where they put the stitches, but there doesn't seem to be any infection, anything like that. And there's still a bunch of, um, not a bunch, but like, you know, obviously if you look closer, you can see my bruising underneath my eye. Um, so yeah, that's the update for my nose. Happy New Year and yeah, 2020. So I just wanted to make another video in this lighting situation so you guys can get an update as to how the healing is going. So there's no infection of my nostrils, nothing crazy happening in my nose. Literally, it just feels like a nose. Um, yeah, in this angle, you can kind of see my tip is swollen, but honestly, like, it really doesn't look bad. And my profile is straight. Like, there, I don't even worry about that changing because, like, there's no way it can, like, grow a hump or anything or, like, get lower. Like, this is, like, bone. Like, I can feel it. So, that's not going nowhere. <clears throat> okay. It is um, two and a half months. This is how my nose looks. Also, I am realizing now that um, where these stitches were placed, um, I'm having to put like antibacterial cream because I'm getting like acne and like bumps and stuff. Um, I don't have any regrets and I'm very happy with how my nose looks um, for this time because it's so healing and I know that it doesn't matter what I think about it now because in a month it's gonna look different also um, but for what it is right now it's two and a half months um, I am satisfied it's about to be three months and about a week or two and here is the side profile from this side and down here is from this side. Yeah. And I braided my hair. Alright, well, peace out. Damn, G, you crazy. Thank you guys if you guys made it all the way up to this point. Um, I know I talked really slow and at some points in this video I was either on hella drugs or I was like playing back the video and I was like what the fuck am I saying like at some points. I was like 
what are you saying? Like, you know, like, I don't know, like, what the hell was going on. Today is officially, or yesterday, was the three month mark um, of my rhinoplasty. It's crazy whenever I see um, a picture from before, it's like, wow, like, that was me. Like, you know, I don't know, obviously it's still me, but like, it just feels like so weird. Like now I'm kind of like used to it on my face now. So I feel like whenever I see old pictures, I'm kind of like, wow, like, you know, it's just kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it or put it into words. Um, but yes, this is the three month mark. Um, it's still really early in my journey, but my doctor said it's about two years, almost one and a half years of, for the full healing. Um, but you know, after about six months, you can start to take pictures and stuff. Um, but right now, like my nose is fine, and it's not even really six months. How do I feel after the surgery? I don't have any regrets. Um, do I think it was worth the money? I feel like my happiness is worth all the money. Obviously, looks can't buy you happiness. Um, I'm not gonna make this a habit and getting surgery because honestly, I don't really want to look manufactured in plastic or anything but in this case scenario I do have no regrets and I was, it wasn't really a painful experience the most painful part about this was probably getting the stitches removed and even with that it was probably comparable to um, you know getting your eyebrows tweezed um, so that was honestly the worst part about it and it really wasn't that bad I will probably, I might, I don't know, I'll probably update this video with either a year update or a six month update depending on, you know, if people care or if I get enough video content. Um, but, you know, I wanted to post this now because it's three months and, you know, I was kind of like, honestly, my, <laughs> honestly, my um, cell phone storage was running out low and I was like, guys, I was like, I'm gonna have to post this now or it's gonna, not gonna get posted at all. So I was like, you know what, let me get it going. It's a three month update, yeah. Another thing I wanna say is I am proud of myself for this because I did pay for it myself. Um, didn't really ask any of my parents for assistance um, at all. And I did this, you know, on my own independently. Um, I don't want to give the impression that I'm encouraging plastic surgery or I think that you guys should change the way your face looks by all means obviously I wish I couldn't I didn't have an insecurity with my nose I really wish I didn't have to go through paying so much money for surgery and this and that just to feel happy inside but I don't know I feel like I could have went to therapy and got that fixed internally or I could have just got the surgery and I felt in the long run surgery was the way to go follow me on my social media my Instagram name is Paul X Bain um, subscribe to me on this YouTube channel because I probably will update this series or I probably will give you an update as to how the healing is going maybe six months or a year uh, so yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram at paulxbains, and also if you want to add me on Snapchat, I don't really update as much as I used to, but if you want to, my Snapchat name is I'm a good person, exactly how I said it, um, I made it when I was 15 years old, so please don't judge. The username is I'm a good person because I was debating if I was going to post this video or not because I don't know I just was debating if it was worth uh, posting. I usually just make videos and like don't post them just for like my own personal memory but I wanted to post this one because I don't know I was looking at videos during like before the surgery like before the consultation before everything and I didn't really see any videos of my experience, other people living in the United States, um, especially uh, black people, especially black boys, especially young black boys. I feel like there wasn't a lot of videos like mine, so I wanted to make a video that way I could post it and hopefully give someone else who is someone that was like me, who's looking for somebody to relate to, um, hopefully then I will give that person the opportunity to see a rhinoplasty experience from you know my point of view i hope 
there's no mean comments. I hope nobody's like, oh, your nose looked better before, or oh, you shouldn't have done that, or oh, you ruined your face, or oh, you spent this amount of money for uh, for your nose, and blah, 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 blah. There's people in this country that blah, 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 blah. Like, I understand people are gonna say that, but at the same time, I don't really care. This is what I chose to do with my time and my money. I have realized that getting a nose job and whatever, any other external cosmetic procedures, it's, it's not gonna fix all your life's problems. I know some people think that, oh, when you get a nose job, like all my life's problems will go away. You'll get a boyfriend, you'll get a girlfriend, you'll get a whatever, you'll get a million bucks. Like, you know, so many people have that mentality, but that's simply not the case. So that was my nose job experience, three month update. Thanks for watching uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I didn't bore you to death. And I hope that this video was educational to some people and helpful to anybody who's looking for a nose job or an ethnic nose job or their, you know, just, you know, wanting to see a nose job experience. Maybe they're not looking for one. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend just getting a nose job just to get a nose job. It's really not worth it. I would say if you genuinely have an insecurity with your nose and you would go through surgery and looking like a, a mess for two months probably or a month, then I would say do it. But it's not for everybody. It's really expensive also. You can get nose fillers and it's much cheaper getting that if you just want to get your profile fixed.